Batman's best girlfriends, Vesper Fairchild. Vesper was boring and irritating. Originally, she wasn't even a key player in the plot. Until Greg Rucka decided to bring her back just as a plot device and ended up killing the girl at the end of the story. Later it turned out that the girl was not the real Vesper. Regardless, the relationship between her and Bruce developed in an interesting way. Vicky Vale. Poor Vicky. I don't think she ever had a prominent role in comics. Alan Grant ended up doing the girl a favor by taking her out of the stories when he wrote his magazines. Despite everything, she was a character with potential, but she was still far beyond the strong girl who deserves to be at Bruce's side. Silver St. Cloud. I really liked her as Bruce's girlfriend, but the girl's constant dilemma on whether or not to accept Bruce as Batman, yes, she is one of the few characters who discovered the billionaire's secret identity, ends up being a bit of a pain after a few issues. Despite this, her participation in Batman, Dark Detective was brilliant and, let's face it, Marshall Rogers' traits made the girl wonderful. Catwoman. The chemistry between Bruce and Selina is incredible, not to mention that the cliché of the good guy being seduced by the bad girl fits like a glove. Sometimes it seems that the writers want to put them together just for the grandeur of the names and how profitable a situation like this could be for the publisher, but the relationship between the two has already been worked out so masterfully that sometimes we hope that the couple end up together at some point. Julie Madison. Julie Madison is just perfect and kicks every other contestant's ass.